I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Ash Wednesday and the ashes. Should you get them? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. It's Ash Wednesday. And so begins the Lenten season, the Lenten fast, a repentance season, preparatory season for Easter. Uh, we're fasting from our alleluias and from our big joyful displays of, of, of praise to God in hopes that Easter will be all the more joyful for us. Lent, though it's not about our fasting, but about Jesus is headed for the cross to save us. He will keep the law all that's required of, of, of us, and then he'll die the death we deserve. He'll be handed over into the hands of the chief priests and teachers of the law. He'll be whipped to the point of death, crucified under, by, under Pontius Pilate, die and be buried. But on the third day, on Easter, he'll rise again from the dead. And we will rise too. We'll rise out of our sins, out of our death, to new life. Life delivered to us in the waters of holy baptism. Life given to us in the word, absolved into us uh, in holy absolution. Life put into our mouths in Jesus' body and blood given for us to eat and drink for the remission of sins. That's Lent, all Jesus for us. Now, our Lent is a life of repentance, turning from our sins and turning from the evil that we're doing and setting them aside forever. Turn from your sins. Joel will tell us today um, to not just uh, to tear our garments, but to rip our hearts out of our chest. So not even, not only to make a big show of repentance outwardly with our clothes, but to make a big, sh to, to have a big repentance inwardly with our hearts changing, repenting of our sins and believing the gospel. Which brings us to ashes on Ash Wednesday. Medieval practice, ashes coming from last year's Palm Sunday, placed in oil and put on our forehead with the words, for dust you are and to dust you shall return. Words spoken to Adam in the garden in Genesis after man's fall into sin. Uh, the new Roman rite has the ashes being placed on the forehead with Repent and believe in the gospel. Now, um, the question is, is it Lutheran? Well, in the freedom of the gospel, you're free to, to have ashes put on your forehead. You're free to repent visibly of your sin. To be, re to be reminded by the mirror of God's law that dust you are and to dust you shall return. So that you would enter into Lent empty of everything that's you so that you could receive all the more of Jesus's forgiveness. Now, the thing about that makes it so wonderful about being a Lutheran is that, is that this, this custom, this rite, which is good for teaching, especially children, um, is not required. And so if you're not comfortable with the ashes on your forehead, um, then you don't have to get them. You could, uh, if you're not uh, comfortable with um, uh, the whole spectacle of the thing, if it gives you the flashbacks to Rome, don't do it. But what you're not free to do is judge your neighbor who might be free enough to do the ashes. And you can always, um, since dust you are and dust you shall return isn't the last word from God, ask pastor to put some water in the font and put the font in the narthex. And after you've... Uh, receive those ashes on your way out the door. You can scoop the water up. You can wipe the, the ashes off your forehead with a baptismal washing, remembering that you have been raised from the dead. You may be dust, but you're forgiven dust. Lent has begun. The fast is beginning. Put away yourself and your sins. The death that's you. The little death that's coming and fix your eyes on Jesus' big death on the cross, the death that will save you. I'm Pastor George Barkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.